Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft or Spawn Edition, everyone. Now, if you guys missed last week's episode, we killed the final normal boss in order to create the Big Bertha, which was the Vortex. So we got its Vortex Eye, as you can see right here. So now, there's only one boss left that we need to kill, and you guys all know who he is. You guys are excited for it, and you're ready to fight him with me on this journey. Guys, we're fighting the Kraken today. That's right. We're gonna go out try to find the nearest Kraken to kill him If it doesn't go too well, I don't exactly know how we're gonna do it, but We're just gonna make things work and uh, we got our girlfriend last episode as well She's kind of just chilling here with her diamond. She doesn't really care what we do She's kind of all rainbow colored with her hair and everything. That's fine and uh, also not to really like not to really impede on this series too much, but uh my Pixelmon series, it's kind of funny because as I was prepping this video, I saw one of the people I was subscribed to on YouTube post a video, and it's like one of the, um, I'm subscribed to one of the, uh, coders or whatever for the Pixelmon mod, and he up, up, did like an upload video on one of, on like the next trailer for the mod, and I looked at it and I was just like, I can't wait, Generation 4 is coming in big, if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely go check it out, um, I'm sure you can just check like new Pixelmon trailer or something and it'll come up immediately. He just posted literally, well this is on Saturday, but he literally just posted like five minutes ago from this video. So yeah, all, all hype and stuff to that. But uh, let's sleep, let's make it daytime. Now honestly we're just going to fly around and see if we can find the crack in our area first because um, yeah, it's going to be the easiest one probably to get. Other than that, oh no, my boots are actually looking pretty damaged. After this fight, though, our armor is going to have some issues. I can tell you that much right now, guys. Um, and what else I want to say? Oh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying the series and want to see more, definitely hit that like button, share, support, and also subscribe too, as well, because we do different mod stuff like this every single day of the week. And if you do not check out, there's the Krakens right there, guys. There they are. If you guys did not check out my Pixel 1 episode yesterday, definitely check that out too, as well. Um, and let's get into this. So, I'm basically just going to start by bowing the, near, the nearest one away from the others. Because what I want to try to do is, um... Oh, he got me. See, the Kraken's fighting style is kind of weird. Because I'm actually, like, you guys can see him over there. I'm actually inside of him right now. It's just, like, glitchy. He's very glitchy. And, uh, basically if he grabs you, he'll be, like, a mile away from you. But it doesn't matter because you're still like there. Now he has a few cool abilities. One is if he goes. But other than the fact that if I wasn't flying right now, I'd be already dead because he picked me up and dropped me. But um, how he kind of does it is he picks you up and like it usually drops you and grabs you again. So you're taking fall damage while still in his clutches, I guess you could say. And I'm actually doing pretty good right now on this fight. The other problem is if he gets too low of health, he will actually begin to ascend into the air. And if he gets too high up, he will actually do one of two things. He will either A, despawn, or B, spawn in 20 other Krakens, and they will all attack you at once. And then you have to try to find the needle in the haystack, the one that's about to die. Now, this guy's actually about to die, funny enough. He's at 60, 91 health, 66 health. Guys, I think we're going to do it. Two health. Guys, he's dead. Get the items. Guys, we just killed the Kraken. While I was explaining his fighting style, we just casually killed him. And we gotta hurry up and pick all this stuff up. Cause... Oh no, you don't. Oh no, 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 Bad. <sighs> we gotta find the Kraken tooth before it despawns. That's the literally the only issue with killing the Kraken after you kill him. Is you gotta find his, um... Kraken tooth. Please tell me we found it already. Right. Okay, we did. Thank God. Not yet. Don't need to worry anymore. Let's just pick up all the drops. Cause like, wait, creeper, creeper. Are we really playing this game right now, creeper? The problem is like, as you guys can see, he drops nothing but ink sacks. A ton of ink sacks, some cool items as well. The Nether stars from that moth we just killed. But yeah, it um. He, he drops so many items, you don't want to kill him over the ocean because you're literally going to be fishing forever to get the items back. And, uh, guys, I did want to say, if you're enjoying the series and love it so much, um, you thought I was going to say hit that like button. No, what I'm going to say is, comment down below what other mods you think I should add in. And, remember, guys, they have to be small mods that will not conflict with the Orspawn mod too much. And even if they're mods that, 
like are medium sized or so. I kind of just want the series to be based on or spawn alone. I don't want to like add in stuff like Twilight Force superheroes, stuff like that, because that would just make like the or spawn thing a little bit stale. If we finish the or spawn series entirely, perhaps we'll go into like a season two where we use the same world, but like. Um, I haven't really thought about it yet, but like once we finish the Orspawn series, maybe what we could do is uh, keep this world and just like add on to it, if you will, and just add in another like semi big mod and we'll focus entirely on that one. Or we'll just start a new world entirely. I don't know. That'll be up to you guys in the future, but don't worry about that now. It's not like the series is coming to an end anytime soon. Um, and you guys did comment saying to um, make this series more than once a day. All I can say is. I don't know what I was going to say. I was trying to think of something cool to say. All I can say is um, basically just... It, it's, it might happen. It may or may not happen within the coming weeks. Like... I forgot. I forgot to talk about it on my Pixel 1 episode. But this is my last... Like, these episodes you're watching now during this week. This is my last week of pre-recorded content. That's all I'll say. Um, stay tuned for an extra video going up sometime this weekend talking a little bit more in detail about the stuff and i think we got all our items let's look through our loot let's just sh here here's how we'll do this we'll just shove it all into the our backpack and then hit sort and then we can look at everything because the kraken dropped a pretty decent amount of stuff so we got a sword that's knocked back like four we got a nice pickaxe a hoe with efficiency four some armor mm -hmm. yeah that, that's cool we got a an amethyst hoe with some breaking four um we got experience boots and experience sword the Kraken Tooth, the only thing we care about. Ultimate Bow, and yeah, everything else we've already seen. Now, you know we haven't killed? One of these guys, so come here, Giant Crab. We're going to kill you next. He doesn't really count as a boss. When they added this, ironically, this guy was added in the final update before this mod stopped being updated about three years ago. So, funny enough, like, I thought this guy, when he was added, they were going to add more, like, bosses for you to kill for, um... Big Bertha, which seemed to be the, ro the route the mod creator was do going. And then when he stopped updating it, I was just like, so what's the point of these crabs again? Because <laughs> I, I say it a lot, and I think it's funny. Um, The next update that was going to come out for this, if you were to right-click birds, they were to teleport you to like a different dimension as well. Like They were going to add another whole entire dimension that involved the birds. But sadly, I like how my house is right here. And I like how the other two krakens are still about... They probably are going to want revenge for their fallen brethren, but it's okay. If they come to my house, I'm going to be in trouble, but... Alright, so Kraken Tooth. Yeah, I, I want to put... I'm just going to put him there for now. I like I wanted this episode just to be based on the Kraken, but we killed the thing so quickly. I feel kind of like there's more we could do. But I don't want to... I don't want to do Big Bertha today. I want to make that a separate episode, too. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Hmm. Huh. What could we do? Hmm. Chicken chest, what do you have for us? Oh, uh, that chicken chest. I can never get tired of its noise. We c I don't want to work on building today's episode either. We've only we're only like eight minutes into this video, and it's supposed to be a half an hour long video, and I'm complaining about killing the kraken so i honestly did not expect i first i expected us to like hunt for him for a while i didn't expect us to like literally smack dab right in front of our faces type of thing um here you know what i'm getting rid of all these insects get what am i doing q here wait control q there we go we don't need those but yeah i honestly expected to do a whole lot more with this episode so you know what we're gonna do we are going to teleport we have, like, nowhere to tell. Swamp by, I'm sure. We're going to teleport here, and we are going to basically just walk around and try to kill things for their morphs. We're going to collect more morphs, guys. And then at the end, we'll check out all our morphs, because we just got the Kraken morph. That's a pretty cool one. Why am I not, like... Why am I in limbo? Help, I'm falling. Okay, we're good. Wait, it's raining. Now, is this rain from the Kraken? I don't know. Let's just we're just basically going to go this way. Anything new will kill. Gets morph. Continue on. See, so, you know, I could have added the hats mod in, but I didn't feel like there was a purpose for it entirely because like I don't know. I just didn't see that one 
working out too well. Why is this area having so many chunk issues? Here, what is it? What was I told? F3? AF3? AF3? AF3. Hmm. F3 plus something. I was seeing what... Like, I asked you guys before, like, what reloaded the chunks again, because I forgot about that, and you guys told me now I forgot again. Ugh. What is the point of me asking you guys for advice if I forget to read the comment section? <laughs> okay. That was probably another series anyway, now that I think about it. Alright, let's fly over here. Let's keep our exploration going. It's semi-nighttime, so we should be getting some good spawns of stuff that we haven't seen before. And I've got a plethora of different, like, headcrumbs mobs that can spawn in. I don't see those guys too often either. Oh, there's that lag. There's that lag we're looking for. We're in a new area, all right. Look at that. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, I didn't think I double tap space there. But whatever. Hi, cows. How you doing? I feel bad for the normal cows in the spawn because there's so many different cows. Like, the normal ones get kind of replaced easily. And oh, look, a cloud pet. Let's go up and take it. Or a cloud inventory chest dungeon thing. I'm just calling it a cloud pet. Because that's what you can get out of it. Alright, let me just, um, excuse you, Blaze. I don't have time for your shenanigans. Thanks for all your stuff. What do we get? Oh, we got the pig. I don't know if we had him before. But we got him now. Well, bam. All right, we're back in here. Oh, hello there, sir. How are you doing? Got him. I didn't get him. Oh, hi. How? Who the heck are you? Jeez. Uh, that's scary. Oh, look, corn. I feel like we have never mined up any corn. Let's take some corn. Guys, we just robbed corn. From the locals. Just kidding, there's not really any locals. And it is raining outside right now. Look at that. In real life, I mean. IRL, it's raining. I hear a zombie. Zombie? I hear the zombies burning. Nah, whatever. No one cares about that zombie anyway. Uh... Huh. 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 I see. I wish we were in, um, 1.11 so and I could actually look for the giant mansion in this biome. But, you know. I see some sheeps. Hello, sheeps. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, more sheeps. Sheeps for days. You know what this calls for? One dead sheep. You guys can, um, fight over whose wool that belongs to. Because I don't want it. Oh, look, uh, look, a group of cows. Now there's going to be one less cow. I'm so cruel and unusual. Look, the pigs, too. Got to kill a pig off. Like, that literally, like, what did they do to me? Absolutely nothing. I'm literally just killing them for the fun of it. What does Minecraft teach kids, honestly, guys? Like, I'm being real now. Like, if I have anyone that's, like, in their teens or is, like, semi-adult, or you're an adult watching this, like... What does Minecraft teach kids? It teaches you to kill animals, literally, like that. Like, what are they teaching kids these days? I think it's funny, because, like, when this game first came out, I was like, oh, it's like an innocent game, and then you realize the hard struggles of life that you have to slaughter animals to get food. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. But, it's okay. It's okay, we will get through this. We will get through this. Attack squids, kill them, kill them, kill them. Did I even hit them? I feel like I didn't even hit these guys. Alright, we didn't trigger... We didn't trigger the Kraken. I think he's scared, though, because we butchered it. Honestly, guys, in all the times I've played the Orsa mod, and let me tell you, it's been a lot of times that I've played the Orsa mod, I have never killed the Kraken so easily than right then and there. And I'm pretty sure it's because I was able to fly like this. I used to rely on... Oh, hello there. Oh, you're a girlfriend. I thought, I was, I thought you were one of the headcrumbs people. I was about to slaughter you. Um... I think it has to do with the cloud pet. I've never used the cloud pet before in the or in conjunction with the ore spawn mod, like inventory pets with ore spawn. I've never done that before because the inventory pets mod is relatively new still. So, by the way, Luminati pet, give us some anti-blocks. Cool. 
but yeah, I never expected to kill the Kraken that easily. Before, how I would do it, I would use the Morph mod to morph into a flying creature, but it never worked out too well. This was easy, <laughs> honestly. Because, like, I was, I was, even as I was getting him low, I knew what he would do. He would try to run and stuff, and I'm like, oh, he's going to run. He's going to summon in 20 of his friends, and I'm going to have to kill them all. But no, that honestly did, is that, oh my gosh, it's Tobuscus. Kill him. You know, I'm just asking questions, the real questions here. Does Tobuscus still do, like, what does he, I, like, does he still exist? Does anyone know Tobuscus is still a thing? Re a relative thing, I should say. Because I, I remember, like, a few years ago, everyone talked about him. And, like, I have never heard his name even spoken in, like, a, few, a good, like, m year or so. So, like, is he still alive, guys? Just, just curious if any of you know. Feel free to comment. And oh, look, an inventory chest. Mine that up. Mine you up. What do we get? We got another pick. Why does it give us du duplicates? <laughs> I hear you, zombie. I hear you. Don't think you can kill me, you monster. <laughs> He's literally a monster, too. That's the funny part. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, we're just, we're just, uh, we're just chilling right now. Do we have a black, a black sheep? Blah blah black sheep. Well, well, you do now. I'm checking for morphs. Remember, guys, anything that we don't have a morph of, we are collecting. So, we are at a huge open plains biome. Let me just say, do I have the morph of this particular moth? I do. Okay. And you guys are probably thinking, but you've already killed one moth or one specific zombie or so. It doesn't matter, guys, if there's any slight difference at all to them. And I mean, literally, if there's one pixel off, it will count as a different morph. Um, do I have you yet? Uh, come here, moth. Come here, moth. And I can waste arrows because unlimited arrows. I remember when people used to think you had to pull back the ultimate bow to fire it. And that would seem fair. But ore spawn's not entirely fair on both both sides of the spectrum if you think about it. Like, they're not fair to the, to the people playing the mod because all the bosses are ridiculously difficult. On the other hand, they're not fair to the boss... He just has to, he done that twice to me now, where he smacked me off the edge. And he had to light me on fire, too. Oh, Ender Pet. You know, Ender Pet's honestly a good one to have, like, if you aren't invincible, because he protects your, uh... He protects your, um, oh, we got Spider Pet, too. Like, if you're about to die, the Ender Pet will teleport you. So, that's a cool one to have. It just doesn't apply to me. <laughs> Because if I used him, all he would do is constantly spam teleport me. It's like the, um, it's exactly the same way with, oh, that one had an explosive bow, jeez. It's the exact same way with the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallits. Like how the slime pet interacts if I'm about to, even though I'm not really, and it uses its ability. Same, th it would be the exact same way with the other one. And I'm going to break this. I probably shouldn't. I'm going to regret this so badly. Here, have more. Thanks. <laughs> Just gave me three chance cubes. Um, I appreciate the generous offer and donation. Creeper, please. I don't know who that guy was. Ooh, Wither Arrow. Nice job, guys. You guys are improving. I feel like the most dangerous thing in Minecraft will all... Will... Will be and always will be a flock... Like a group of skeletons. I don't care what you're fighting, skeletons will always be the most dangerous thing for you to fight. Just because the way, like, especially in the newer Minecraft, since they've updated them, but, like, the way that they fight, it's just so accurate. <laughs> they're the and they're the really only ranged mob in Minecraft. Like, the Guardian's long range, the Skeleton's long range, what's, what else do we got? The Witch is a mid-range type. I mean, the witch used to be dangerous, and then people kind of figured out you just gotta not be next to it, and it works out every time. Hello there, sir. You're dead. Ow. Ow. You're dead. Skeletons, please. Oh, we got two more people. Who we got here? Oh, this guy's got a sword. He's threatening me. Who's this? Oh, I know you. Alright, you're dead. Well, bam. Who is that over there with the... Oh, that's a... 
Oh, that's just a skeleton with an enchanted bow and a creeper. I thought it was like a skeleton with like rainbow armor. I was like, what the heck? Uh, you know what I don't think we ever killed though? This dude. The Ender Knight. Or Ender Reaper, I mean. Oh, now I ticked him off. Come here, Ender Reaper. Come here. Ow. Oh, now I'm getting attacked by everything. Hey there. Hey there. Ender Reaper, where'd you go? I was lit. Like, he left. He honestly left. <laughs> I was killing him too. Oh, look, a jungle. Oh, we should explore the jungle. In the jungle, in the mighty jungle. Mumbo. The lion sleeps tonight. Let's go kill it. <laughs> oh, boy. Wouldn't it be funny if there actually was a lion here? I'd be terrified. You see, that's something they could have added into Orspawn, actually. Now that I think about it. Like, a lion boss? That would have been crazy. It spawns in the jungle and everything. Or, like, a giant gorilla or something. I don't know. Well, that's King Kong for you, but still. Alright, we're looking a little bit full on our inventory. Uh, I think we need to, like, store some of this stuff away. Ow! What hit me? That triggered my slime pet. Wait, the blaze triggered my slime... That... That's what I mean, guys. That makes no sense. I would you're telling me I would have died from that blaze attack if I didn't have a spawn armor? Yeah, that, uh, sorry, no, that's not a thing. Um, nice try though. There's no way I would have died from that. That that's like uh, it just wasted a, a like durability on my slime pet. Like I expect the I ex allow the spawn mobs to do that, but. Uh, a vanilla mob? I don't think so. But where are we? Oh yeah, the blaze is long range too, I guess. But he's not an overworld. But mostly, other than the like the skeleton, the witch, there is nothing really above ground that's formidable. Like zombies, just walk away from spiders. Sim, like you can kind of walk away from them too. Creepers, same thing. Like nothing is really dangerous, unless it's got some extra ability to it. And, like, now in Minecraft, they're adding in all these different, like, passive animals that can get hostile towards you, which is pretty cool. That's making it a little bit harder. I've always said that Minecraft needs to be more difficult. Everyone's like, oh, Minecraft is already as hard as it is. And I'm thinking, it really, vanilla Minecraft is not hard. Like, unless you actually are trying to do, like, crazy things. Like, take on the dungeons and stuff. Other than that, like, if it's just simple, you're just walking around. Hello there, sir. Automatic maiden. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you're just like walking around and such, and you run to like, what, two zombies and a skeleton, you're kind of just like, alright, I'll just make the skeleton kill the two zombies, and I'll go kill the skeleton. Easy. Like, just, easy. Literally easy. Easy. Illuminati pet, give me something worth using. Ender Knight. You know what? <laughs> he's coming back. I don't think he's coming back. Guys, I don't think that guy's coming back. You know what? We'll get one more morph and then we'll end off the episode. One more new morph. So let me go into speed run now. i got to fly around and look for one. Should probably get out of the laggy jungle. But we are in an area we've never been to. Be oh. You know what? I'll take this as the last thing. Hello there. Jungle temple. The mighty jungle temple. Honestly, I should really build a house in one of these. I've never done that before. Uh. Oh, wait. Did I open it? Oh, no, it shot an arrow at me. I'm so terrified. Ooh. I didn't realize we got heads out of these. Ow. Wait a minute. Stop shooting me. How do these things have that many arrows in them, by the way? And why can I not... Wait. Okay, would someone like to explain to me how that thing works? Here. Here's how we figure out how it works. <laughs> we take everything from it. Alright. Wait, did we just get Goku's head? I think Yeah, we just got Goku's head. And we got Kylo Ren's head also. Nice. Nice, guys. We, we uh... We, uh... Oh boy. Alright, we're hanging these two guys' heads up. Um 
You know what, Kylo Ren, you can go on top of the chicken chest. There you go. And Goku, you can go. Jeez, where could I put Goku? You can like go right there. Yep, that's that looks like Goku, all right. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna end off the episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. We killed the Kraken finally, so next episode we can craft Big Bertha, test it out, and yeah, prep on fighting Mobzilla. That's not gonna be next episode. But I'm just saying. Um. Yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, definitely hit that like button, show your support, subscribe to the channel, and see more Minecraft mod content. Like, so stay tuned for tomorrow because we're coming at you with another Minecraft Lucky Block Survival. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.